today we're going to be videoing one of our latest creations. This is a Nelson 32 valve dual overhead cam uh, small block basically. Um, we've cut this motor from a solid chunk of metal and, uh, it's a, and we're real, I'm really pretty proud of this thing. It's a Y block design, cross bolt main with billet steel caps. It's got a priority main oil system built into it. Um, it's got chain drive, so drives the cams with the chains. Um, ductile iron sleeves, full water. For a billet block, it's got full water. You can see the sleeves. Now this bore, this is 4125 bore, so it's a large bore for an overhead cam motor. Uh, and we can build this motor as big as 500 inches uh, in a small block form, but with RPM capability. Uh, it's pretty trick. I mean, these things are gonna go, I think these are gonna be the next craze in hot rodding beyond the turbo is, is the four valve. It's the, the difference between a Harley and a rice rocket. You got just tons more power available because you've got a lot more air available to the engine. So that's that's what we've really done here. Obviously there's no camshaft in the valley, but you can see some of the detail work with the water jackets, you know, obviously all, all around the water jackets and some of the ribbing. You get an idea of some of the ribbing going on on the side of the block here. We just got this back from Polish. Uh, another cool feature that we've done is we've actually built in oil drain backs that go from the head uh, directly into the crankcase. So if you look, the drain backs are drilled into the crankcase here and then they come through the top. So the head just goes and pops right through. Oil all drains back into the crankcase with those holes. Uh, this particular motor is twin turbocharged, so we've uh, O-ringed the block here. So we've cut uh, O-ring grooves and the cylinder heads have uh, receiver grooves uh, built into those. You get an idea of the, uh, the beefiness of this cap here. All billet. Put those little drill holes in so the oil can drain uh, right there between the seal and the bearing. They're all doweled, so not only are they they're four bolt main, two this way and then two this way, which is called cross bolt. Uh, they're also doweled, uh, so those are look at the main caps right there. And here's a here's a crankshaft that we run here. Now we base this off of a small block Chevy, but it's got a. Uh, much longer snout, and these, these, this is what's going to drive the uh, cam chains right here. So you get an idea of the crankshaft right there. It's got a Mallory in it, and uh, you know some of the Mallory that we put in there for balancing. These are angleite drilled, so the uh, rod pins are drilled uh, at an angle, and we've also gun drilled the whole center of the crank, uh, which actually surprisingly makes it stronger. Here is the pistons that are in the motor. Got a special top ring, you know, heavy dish because this is a twin turbocharged and the combustion chamber is very small on a uh, centrally located four valve head. Again, this is gonna be basically the birth of a new generation of, of a hot rod engine is, is what I believe. You know, have a cammy sounding uh, small block 500 inch. Yeah. If you were going to go that big, that you know, rip eight, nine thousand RPM, that's a pretty crazy, uh, crazy deal. All right, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to we're going to torque all the mains up, and then from there, I'm going to take uh, a micrometer, I'm going to mic the mains, I'm going to transfer that measurement to a dial board, and then I'll actually measure the running clearance of the main bearings. And that'll give us, you know, if, if we can go ahead and put the crankshaft in. So that's what we're going to do right now.
Okay, we're mic in the uh, mic in the crankshaft right now. This is this is a special crankshaft we had made for our blocks. It's got a longer snout. Uh, we're doing some cool trick internal balancing where there's not many drill holes. And uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to mic each main, and then I'm going to write the clearances down on the table. We'll transfer that to uh, a spec sheet uh, later. What's really neat about this motor is we designed it with small block Chevy main bearing and small block Chevy rod bearings. So all the bitch and H series bearings, all the really trick bearings, they're all available for this motor. So it's not a total, you know, crazy bearing that you have to source somewhere. It's normal small block Chevy bearing. Okay, I got the uh, all the mains written down. They're all nice. They're all within two tenths, which shows the you know sign of a good crankshaft grind. Uh, and uh, now I'm going to go measure the rods. All right, so what we're going to do is now we've set this dial bore gauge uh, to the specific size. We're going to go ahead and check the actual running clearance of the bearing itself. Okay, right now we're installing the crank. So that, we're just going to lay the crank in final. Here's a shot of the bottom end, pretty robust looking. You can see the external oil drain backs that are built in there. Uh, one thing that I like also is we built the sleeve length to where if you see the piston that's as far as it comes out of the sleeve right there. So you've got a lot of stability in the piston skirt. A lot of motors aftermarket these days they put no stability in the piston skirt and you get a, bu uh, a bunch of uh, skirt wear and oil consumption. So I'm putting in the last cylinder head stud <clears throat> right now and uh, this is going to be turning out to be one hell of a little motor. So I want to just kind of go over some of the features that we've built into it. Uh, one trick thing about it is we've put a starter location in the lifter valley itself. So a lot of times you starters in the way of you know exhaust etc. So we put a starter location there. But if that doesn't work for you, we've got a starter location on the passenger side. And we've also got a starter location on the driver's side. So that's kind of a neat deal. Again, all the oil drain backs are uh, built into the block itself. There's a bunch of external strength ribbing going on in the block itself. We wanted this block to be uh, very stout. We've got dual motor mount pads. Uh, one's a small block Chevy and then one is a basic square pattern uh, if, uh, if you'd like to use that. It's a cross bolt main half inch bolts. Uh, y block that's built in into the block itself. Uh, priority main oiling. Uh, uh, really, really nice setup there. Uh, we built mounts for a dry sump pump to bolt right into the side of the block. So the dry sump will bolt right into the block itself. We've also built mounts into the, into the uh, front of the motor for mounting accessories. And we made, uh, we made them uh, removable if you were to ever strip it. All the cam uh, drives and accessories are all built into the motor. Uh, the water jackets are really nice on this motor. Uh, one thing to point out too is we've went ahead and we've uh, put tempered sta uh, stainless O-rings in the block itself and then we've cut receiver grooves off, based off of these O-rings into the cylinder heads themselves and that really clamps the cylinder heads down when you start running boost, which this one is twin turbo. So, pretty proud of this little sucker. Good looking piece. Alright guys, so that's it. Short block's complete. We'll come back with you when we got the heads and everything else on it. And we'll do a part two assembling it. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's going to revolutionize the uh, hot rod world. Um, it's going to bring, you know, up to 500 cubic inch small block power, but with valve area, four valves per cylinder. So you'll have 500 cubic inch small blocks running eight nine thousand rpm i think it's just gonna it's basically gonna go from take you from harley technology 
into uh, you know rice rocket technology, I guess you could call it. Uh, so there's going to be a big difference in sound, big difference in uh, high RPM horsepower, and I'm pretty excited about it. And I can't wait till uh, to actually get it on the pump and start doing some testing.